So, are you ready to go out there? Out there to the stars With me around going out there Ain't nowhere to fall So Are you ready To go Out there to the Mars, Out there to the stars When me and there. go out there Ain't nowhere to fall Welcome everybody out there This is Out There Show Where you can take you traveling To wherever you wanna go Welcome everybody out there, this is the Out There Show We try to go as far as the wormhole goes Welcome everybody out there, this is the Out There Show we we'll ride Jay and have you traveling as far as you wanna go Welcome everybody out there, this is the Out There Show We try to go as far as the wormhole goes Everybody out there this is the out there show. Everybody out there. Out there. This is the out there show. So, so, are you ready to go out there? Out there. Out there. So, are you ready to go out there? Out there. Out there. Out there. Out there to the stars. When me and Jay go out there, ain't nowhere to fall. Today we'll be talking about three U.S. Navy uh, UAP chases that's recently been declassified, as well as an Israeli scientist recently coming out acknowledging that, yes, aliens do exist. And the U.S. knows about it. Trump knows about it. There's treaties in place, and they're just, you know, waiting to see how they want to, you know, kind of, unveil things. So it should be an interesting episode today. So everybody out there, be ready. So we about to show you never seen before footage of declassified evidence from the government that say UFOs exist, extraterrestrials exist, and there's really something out there. Yeah, I mean, if you want proof that there's something out there, it's not going to get more valid than this, where you have our actual government acknowledging it and saying, hey, these videos are real, and hey, we don't know what they are. So, so let's just kick back, watch some of the footage, and everybody out there, you let us know in the comment section, do you like it? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's certified stuff? Or do you think it's something that the government put up or conjured together just to put out just the please the people. We don't know. We're going to find out today. So, are you ready to go out there? This, this David Frederick Fleer incident. I mean, I really think that for this particular incident, yeah. there's no doubt that the footage is real. Yeah. So for any debunkers out there, which, you know, I debunk a lot of footage. Yeah, I can but for, for any debunkers on this one, you know, you can't doubt that the footage is real at this point. You know, exactly. the, the government acknowledged it, that exactly. it's real. And, you know, the pilot is giving interviews right now, talking exactly. about it. He exactly. said that, uh, you know, like you said, when he first saw it, it looked like it was pinging around like a, a ping pong ball just in the same spot. Though, yeah. Right? And then yeah. he's saying that this thing shot up over 10,000 feet in elevation. Wow. Really fast. Yeah. He's saying that it basically shot out of the range of what they could detect exactly. uh, in a few seconds. I mean, that's amazing. It's that's very maneuvering amazing. they've never seen. Now, if you have radar, you know, radar spans, you know, yeah. very far. It's right. not just like hand to hand radar. They got some of the best radar. Yeah, of course, to come in and out of their radar that quick, you know what I'm saying, have to be moving very fast. Yeah. And, you know, the other thing about it is. They're saying that jamming somebody's radar is actually an act of war. It's like firing a missile at them. Wow. So technically, whoever jammed that radar of one of our military ships, wow. they're not supposed to be doing that. Right? Exactly. So exactly. it's... it's uh, And to have that technology to jam the radar, that's the high technology. Yeah, I mean, that. it's jamming radars, it's flying fast. And the other thing that I think is interesting here is that... People want to say, you know, it was a small object, it was, it could have been far away and all this. You know, from looking at the video, 
you know, no matter how small that object is, it's doing things that even our military craft can't do. Even if it was a drone. Exactly. It's outperforming a military jet. It's almost like you want to be on their side. Yeah. Like, I, I, I want to be yeah, on your well, team. That's right? what the pilot said. Exactly. You know, he, he goes, hey, first thing I thought was, I want to fly that thing. I'm like, wow. Exactly. I want to fly that thing. Yeah. Whatever he's in, man, let me get a seat in that one. Yeah. And I'll fly that UFO or whatever that dude is flying. Can't compare. Can't compare. Can't compare. It's not uncompared. So that's, you know, and, you know, what's interesting to me on this one is thinking about the science. Um, I'm just happy. Like, I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, it gives me a certain type of excitement to To, to know see. that's possible, right? That's, that's something like, that, like that, that, that's, that's a thing that's out there doing that. Man, it's just like, exciting. Whatever like, it is. When you're a kid, you know you kid, you see all these alien stuff, and you see all these fiction movies, and you see all Star Wars, and you see all these, you know, episodes, yeah. and they, they're beautiful, and they take you to another place, and they meet all these yeah. aliens and these type of people. Right. Some, some, something in your heart is like you want that to be real. And you well, wish yeah. You was the captain instead of and Captain you have, a, you have a ship that can go flying from the atmosphere. Exactly. Fly down and land on the earth, then yeah. fly back up. Fly back out up. into space. That's and, what these things are doing. They say. And uh, warp speed, too. Yeah. Because they fly back. Fast. So I guess yeah. they got, you know, Star Trek warp speed. And anybody going to want that warp speed, baby. Yeah. And, how is he going that That's fast? Yeah. What, what's going on? It's yeah, I mean, these, these ones, I, I really think, push push the limits because, yeah. me, I'm skeptical. So a lot of the stuff that we've talked about, I say, well, you know, it could be this, it could be that. Well, even this one, I say, we don't know if it's aliens. Yeah. Maybe this is high technology that our own government has and they're testing it. And maybe they're about to come out with it and announce something. So they're, they're, they're dribbling info out. But... Yeah. For them to acknowledge it, if it's one of their own, that's amazing. If it's an alien, yeah. that's amazing too. So either yeah. way, yeah. just the fact that there's a craft out there doing that is just amazing because it says that's possible. Hey, one day maybe we could be on a real, you know, Star Wars type spaceship. And I would love it, man, just to think about everybody's dreams and these fictional characters in these movies that people come up in their wildest dreams in these books. Maybe some of that stuff is actually factual, you know what I'm saying? Because actually things are coming yeah. out that are more mysterious than this, that are actually seen, you know, factual. So let's talk about the science behind it. Is because that according to the pilot, there was no propulsion, uh, no gas coming out, no flames, no rockets, no no, no uh, blades like a helicopter, yeah. no visible mean of propulsion. It was a smooth tic-tac object. And... Uh, it's interesting what that says because it says that some way either by manipulating gravity or through some electromagnetic I think it has to be that there's some way though to have propulsion where you can't really see where it's coming from it whatever they're doing it has to be the natural source of energy that they're receiving like um, the out, outer shell that they craft must have an absorption rate of energy so maybe if they can power up by the sun or power up by anything that's hot or has energy and then use that energy to go wherever they want to go. You and convert it, right? Or the convert it. Absorb it, convert it. Yeah, absorb it or convert it. Or even just uh, convert the, the fields, current. right? Con convert the gravitational fields or the electromagnetic fields, right? Exactly. You just don't know. It's, and it's we don't know amazing. if they're, they're actually flying in our time. Yeah. This is what I thought about. Are they flying in our time? Or are they flying in another dimension in time? Are right. our dimensions I've heard are that closing? Like, why are they ping pong? Like, if, if this is a seven dimension, they say they're seven dimensions. You know, some people say they're more dimensions. I don't know. People, some people say there are no dimensions. But let's so, say theoretically, well, let's say if there were seven dimensions and the dimension of, uh, started compressing, right? You think dimensions comp compress so closely to where you can see what's happening in another dimension? And you're not in you know, that dimension. I've heard uh, on another podcast some some people who, who have kind of like science backgrounds yeah. have talked about, well, maybe the thing was messing with time so that yeah. it looked like it was ping-ponging around. Yeah. But really, your time was distorted by it. 
and oh, so oh, you're not really seeing it move. It's really sitting there, but time is distorted, so it looks like it's here, it's there. Yeah. And so uh, something about its field is actually distorting time around it. I've oh, heard wow. that mentioned. Oh. Another thing I Or like an electric magnetic field. Right. That's that's causing yeah. time to lapse and the, the other thing I've heard mentioned is that instead of it distorting time, it's some kind of field that's actually distorting the light. So when you're looking at it, the light is being distorted. So okay. it's really sitting there. Yeah, but you're not looking is, at it directly. You can't see it because the light is distorted. Exactly. Exactly. The, the other thing I've heard mentioned is that it's actually moving by static electricity. Like, you static know how things can uh, have static cling and be lifted up against gravity? Mm -hmm. there, there, I've heard someone mention it building up a huge static field yeah. around it and, and getting it to move that way. So these are different things people have thrown out there. Like you said, uh, messing with the dimensions somehow. Yeah. Um, but you never know. It's just so interesting uh, that we yeah. can speculate that there's something that we haven't figured out. There's something out there. Yeah. Some These crafts are moving. Yeah. They can't see any propulsion. Yeah. The other thing that was mentioned is they saw many more of them on their radar, but they were way up in the atmosphere, coming in and out of space. Yeah. And, um, you know, they just had film of this one, but they have radar that's still classified of many, many more. And that's an interesting thought that, you know, this is a known phenomenon and we don't know what they're doing. We can't stop them. We can't do anything to them. They'll outrun our craft. They'll jam our craft. So it's like, what can you do but let them do whatever it is they're doing? Knowing something that's out there and knowing you can't fend against it. If it did have the mentality of action against you, any war action against you, or any hostility towards you, it would have the upper hand easily. If it's something's traveling that fast, you can't outrun it. You can't get it on radar. It puts the government it, in a weird position. It, yeah, it, it, it disappears, comes back when it wants to. It may have a force field, so you probably can't shoot at it. If it's going that fast, it's probably faster than a rocket that you can shoot at. Probably faster missile. than a missile, yeah. So, is it in our dimension or is it another dimension? If it is in our dimension, should we be aware of it? Should we be scared of it? Should we be night watching? Maybe, you know, maybe there's something out there that we need to pay attention to. Because a lot of people is filled with a lot of propaganda in their whole life, so they feel like when something else comes up, oh, that's probably some more propaganda. Turn it off. It's not about nothing. It's not real. It's fake. It's Hollywood. But not that's everything is Hollywood, my people. That's a good point. There's some think, things out there that I can't explain. Hollywood hey, can't even explain. Look, ever since this was announced, right? Ever since this was announced, people have kind of brushed it under the rug, saying, you know, it's nothing. Because there's been so much alien talk, and people have discounted it. And the government's never acknowledged it. Yeah. But one thing people have to realize about these ones, guys. The government did acknowledge these. Yes. They don't know what they are. They don't know what how they work, but they acknowledge they are real. And they have identified them as UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena. Wow. Yeah. That is crazy. So I just feel like when the government has never done it before, never opened up their books before, never cleared any of these alien files. We're used to watching these files on something on TV, on X-Files, but not no real files from actual government officials, not real interviews from actual pilots that actually seen it happen. So to have the courage to even speak on certain things, it's a lot of courage and I give it up to those people. Let the world see what's really out there because yeah. we want to know what's really out there. We tired of sitting back and watching everybody, you know what I'm saying, put a veil over our eyes. All my people out there that want to figure out yeah, what's out there, true. come on a journey with us. Because we're going to yeah. try to figure out what's out there. So we know they've acknowledged FLIR, the FLIR video, which mm -hmm. is the Tic Tac. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about what else they've acknowledged, right? There's a couple videos from 2015. Yeah. Again, U.S. Navy jet fighters. Okay. These videos are called Go Fast. The okay. other one is called Gimbal. And this okay. is for people who want to look these up. The FLIR video is spelled F-L-I-R, FLIR. Um, look that one up, it's from 2004. The next two are from 2015. They're called Go Fast, 
That's G O F A S T and Gimbal. That's G I M B A L. Okay, so these videos um, are the ones that the U.S. Navy's acknowledge. They say they're UAPs. We have them on camera. We chase them. They're real things. We don't know what they are. Right. The GoFast video is very similar to the Tic Tac. It's another gray object, but this time they've got it zooming across the water at a ridiculous amount of speed. And uh, same similar Tic Tac object, no obvious propulsion source. It's just zooming right along. And the gimbal video is a little different. It's actually an object that is, they say, it looks like a cube inside of a beach ball. Yep. And they're saying that this object was hovering midair for hours and rotating on, in spot. You know, it wasn't, you know, the wind's blowing by it. This thing's not floating with the wind. It's staying dead in spot. Uh, and it's actually rotating. And they have video of this. And it actually looks like some kind of distortion around it. When you look at it, it looks like some form of field or distortion around the object. Yeah, like a forest field of some yeah. way. So yeah. let's talk about these two. Again, U.S. Navy has acknowledged these. It took them years to acknowledge it. The videos have been out for a while, but no one's acknowledged them. So people have debunked them, said it's nothing. No, the, the U.S. Navy in 2020 in April acknowledged these three videos and said, no, these are real videos. These are real things that, yeah. that, we, that we recorded. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, to me, it's groundbreaking. Yeah, it is. You know, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's happy. It makes you joyful that you're able to see stuff like this when you haven't seen stuff like that. Yeah. But I then mean, it puts a, skeptic, a little fear. I'm, I'm then it puts a, a little fear skeptic, down your, you know? your, your spine when you think about yeah, it. Yeah, right? it really does. It makes you feel a little smaller. Like, oh, things are getting real. Like, smaller in the real. universe than you actually thought you were. Yeah. Because a lot of people, you know, put themselves high on the you know, pedestal on this earth, like, you know, like there's nothing out there and we're the biggest thing going and we got the best technology, but hey, if we can't, you know, catch these things, if we can't, you know, match their speed or their agility or, you know, their force fields when we throw everything at them, it just drops to sideways, then we're dealing with something that actually, you know, could be, you know, threatening, not just to me or you, but to the whole mankind. Or, you know, you know vice versa. It or vice be, versa. It could be a, a revolutionary. It could uh, it change could, everything about how we live, how we travel, exactly. how we ship things, how we, how, you know. How it could be a help to mankind yeah. as well. And hopefully, it's a help to mankind. Hopefully, this technology that they're having right now, it's helping mankind. Yeah. You know, industry, it could revolutionize industry. Yeah. I mean, if you have a way to lift heavy objects, it's going to make it much uh, easier to fabricate large things, transport large things. I mean, you're talking about, hey, maybe you could build uh, full houses yeah. at the factory and, and just float them over to the to the place where, where they're going to be, um, where the foundation is, you know? Like they're so, going to have to teach new classes on new things and how to operate new computer software. There's gonna be a lot of things in the future that you're gonna to have to operate by knowing ha or having a, a certain IQ. You know? Well, that's assuming that they that they actually declassify the yeah. technology behind it, right? It's, exactly. Because right yeah. now they're saying we don't know what it is. So, exactly. so if they ever catch one and they say, oh, we have one right now, we did declassify it, how the inside look, how the interior looks, yeah. does the force field work, is it or, impenetrable or, or hit it with hey, anything? If it's, if it's ours, like if it's some technology that our government has, and, yeah. you know, they may acknowledge, oh yeah, those videos, but yeah. until they release the technology behind it, yeah. it, you know, that's what I'm waiting on. That's what's going to yeah. revolutionize the yeah. world. Yeah. Yeah. And who is that technology for? Do they have the technology already? Are they going to make it accessible to every human being? Yeah. Maybe. So let's maybe talk about some. this, bro. If if it is aliens, let's say it's not our, let's say it's not human technology that's just super super top secret. Let's say it's actually aliens. It says a lot that these that these encounters have been happening and being filmed since two thousand four, 
And you know, the aliens haven't taken us over or knocked us off or did anything bad to us. So my main thing, if they are extraterrestrials out there, they may are sensible to the universe, sensible to our water, our food sources, the people that are here. They have some sensibility for the they didn't, and they have this such high technology, and they feel us as any type of threat. We wouldn't actually, you know, be having this talk right here. We'll be, you know, underground somewhere living because they didn't tore up everything above ground, yeah. and then he came in spaceships so and raided everything. That's actually Is a that what we're segue. waiting for? Yeah. You, that, know? you know what? That's a perfect segue into um, the last thing we're supposed to talk about which is the Israeli scientist yeah. who recently came out and he said, hey, aliens are real. Yeah. Trump knows about it. The U.S. government knows about it. Yeah. And there's actually um, treaties in place with some, uh, like a galactic alliance or something. Well, they have this federal galactic command in space, and they supposedly, you know, of different um, top alien groups or whatever, hopefully the good ones, that they're, uh, they're actually got to be some type of nice because they're nice enough to be up with our people of government and make some type of treaty. This scientist has worked in the space industry his whole life. Yeah. He's very well respected. Very He's young. not some kook out of left field. Exactly. And, and, you know, the way he talks about it, you know, those things you just said, a lot of people used to take it as, as like, not, not real. Exactly. But, the way this scientist talks about it, he says, yes, there's treaties. There is a galactic alliance. He's saying that they're just waiting to figure out how to actually release all this to the public and when is mankind going to be ready for this. You know, you have these UAPs being announced in 2020. A few months later, the pilot starts doing interviews. A few months later, this Israeli scientist comes out, goes overboard. He says too much. He's like, yo, the aliens are real. They're here. Yeah. Trump knows about them so interesting man it, that it, this is interesting all, and it it's all happening right now. it's all happening at this time you know after so many years of denial telling people they're crazy even me i'm a skeptic i i you know if you know if you don't have hard evidence it's hard for me to take it seriously but if you have actual footage that's being acknowledged by the government and the footage is being taken by a professional observer with professional equipment. I mean, the cameras and the and the sensors and the equipment on those jets are top of the line. Nothing's exactly. better. I mean, exactly. a lot of it is still actually top secret, and yeah. and, and that's what they recorded um, this, this these encounters with. If these videos are actually out there and they're releasing a lot more of this footage, now that they released this footage, you out there as a viewer, what do you think? There's really something out there. As I see these videos, I'm knowing that's something out there. I'm actually, you know, checking the news every day, you know, exactly. Doing, exactly. doing research and, and exactly. really trying to separate the truth from the, 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 the fiction. fiction and all the fluff that's out there about the topic. Really trying exactly. to get to the, the hardcore, what is the real evidence we have, and, and, and trying to kind of put it all together and see what's really going on out there. This was huge. It's got me super excited. Yeah, I don't know yeah. about anybody else, yeah. but that's yeah. amazing. This is like a stepping stone to greatness. If everybody around the world, you know what I'm saying, follow suit and start releasing all their alien documents or any documents that they have of any account or whatsoever, you know what I'm saying, whether it's the abduction, whether it's just an alien encounter of, of somebody seeing a spaceship, or whether it's a crop circle, whether it's a submersible, or whatever it is, you know, Put it out there. If it's even yeah. if it's an implant, if you had an alien implant, well, we need you had an alien, more alien art, right? artifact. We, we, need, we, need, we need more governments to make these acknowledgments so that right. people aren't gaslit and people aren't thinking they're crazy. You know, when the governments start acknowledging what's going on, you're going to see a lot more citizens saying, "Wait, so on that on that day." In, in uh, 2004, you're saying that that was a real thing? Well, I saw that too. Exactly. You know, that's what we need. We need the governments, more and more governments, to just come out, declassify this stuff. Let us know where we stand. If it's true that there's something going on and you guys can't do anything about it and you don't want to admit it to us, just admit it. Just acknowledge it because then we won't be thinking we're crazy for being right. For, for saying, hey, no, I did see something. Or, 
you know, thinking, hey, maybe technology can get to the point where we can leave the planet, fly up in a ship the size of a car, fly back down, all within a few seconds. You know, fly to the moon and back within an hour. That's what these craft are doing. That's what they're capable of. And that's hopeful. That's amazing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what anybody who's a sci-fi fan dreams of, this exactly. type of thing. Exactly. So just think about this. All those sci-fi movies you've seen, all those things that you inspired to have as a kid, at these times, they're actually making it a reality. People didn't know about flying cars, but now they got Cadillac coming out with a, a flying taxi. So you don't know what's coming out for the future. And right now, the technology, whether it's ours or whether whoever it is, it's being out there, it's being seen now, it's being recognized, you know, and people need to wake up right now and jump on the spaceship and look for the next one out there. Because there are some out up. there. We need to keep putting pressure on our governments. You know, they made these acknowledgments due to pressure people were putting on them with FOIA requests, uh, which is freedom of information requests. Exactly. This is what it has got us to the point of getting even an acknowledgement like that. And it's inspirational. You know, for me, I think uh, that's where I'm going to direct a lot of my energy to is to say, hey, let's push our governments to make more of these acknowledgements. What do you have? Stop hiding stuff. You know, uh, we shouldn't have to uh, put a FOIA request in and wait 10 years, uh, 15 years to get footage and to get an acknowledgement that this footage is real. I mean, you know, why hide it? You know? Well, I feel like I love it. I'm, I'm with it. I'm glad that they're finally opening up some books, you know, yes. but let's open all the videos, let's open all the books, let's be free to the American people and let's be free to the people around the world. Let's let the world know what's really out there and let them choose if they want to be scared about it, if they want to take it as a skeptical, or if they want to take it as truth or a fiction, whatever they want to do with it. The, next, give thing, them the next thing that I want to see, that I know the government has, um, based off these acknowledgments, they released the the footage from the jets. I want them to release the, the radar images where they're showing more of these crafts and how this craft moved on the radar. I want to see that. I want to see the radar images released of the other crafts off in the distance coming in and out of the atmosphere that was talked about by these pilots. I want to see that released because we know they have it. They've acknowledged they have this, these pilots. Who, who flew this encounter acknowledged that they had it on radar too. We want to see the radar released next. That's what exactly. we're asking for. Exactly. We want to see it all released so we can see the actual footage to let us know where we at in space and time and reality. You know what I'm saying? Where do we stand against these beings, these crafts, these spaceships, and where are they at? When do they come? Have they abducted How anybody? often do they come? How often do they come? Yeah. How often do you see them on radar? And if we do have some type and of where with where them, do you see them showing up the most often? Exactly. And we have and if we do have some type of treaty with them, what is the treaty about? Can we can we get the information on the treaty so we can look at the treaty between the United States and this alien being, this uh, so called galactic command, so we know what the states are. Because there's big stakes yeah. if you're having a treaty with somebody. For sure. I mean, it's not always I like about all that war. Stuff One thing we know they have, though, is the radar. Exactly. We know that they have that radar. In the Go Fast video, it has audio of the pilots talking about what they're seeing. And they acknowledge right there in that video that the radar people are seeing a lot more than they are. So exactly. we want to see what they saw on that radar. Exactly. We want to see the eyes, eyes, you know what I'm saying? Because we want to know what's out there. And everybody out there want to know what's out there. So be free to the people and be free with the Freedom Act and give us our freedom of knowledge and freedom of press and freedom to uh, be American citizens and know what we're up against, know what's out there. Um, whatever situation, whether it's a Bigfoot, whether it's a giant, whether it's some type of craft, a spaceship, whether it's little green alien men, 
know what I'm saying? And you, that you captured, they crashed the spaceship, and you recovered some of them, you took pictures of them. Can you please give us the pictures? Because we really want to know what's out there. Why? Because American people want to know. And the people in the world want to know. So if they ever see anything like this, they actually know what it is. And they won't be blind to scared to run in their house. They know how to react to, to something out there. There was something out there, like a movie out there, that talked about a little gray alien that came from uh, Area 51. And some people picked him up. And, he, you know, he was a, a cool little fellow. You know what I'm saying? I think it was called Paul. Paul. I saw you know I think was Paul. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah so, so I'm trying to see what's really out there. Let us know how many fingers that they have, you know, the what languages that they talk. You know, can we learn the language through through Rosetta Stone? You know, let us know what's really out there. Because if you let us know what out there, the people that want to be connected to something out there, they're going to stand up out there and they're going to show their faces and they're going to want to meet these people and be connected to something out there. They're going to show, they're going to want to fly some of these spaceships well, that they got. Well, they want to go to the alien house. There's a lot of, you know, they want to go to the alien home. There. There's a lot of depressed people out yeah. there that think, hey, this is all there is to life. You know, going to work every day, living in some overcrowded city, yeah. traffic. You know, there's a lot of people who would be inspired to know that there's more going on that meets the eye. And that, um, you know, like amazing things are, are closer than, than they thought. Exactly. It's like right now I have a space program and where they're talking about, you know, Open, going to the moon, you know, and um, going there and putting people and doing certain things by, you know, expanding the race to outer limits. So we're trying to push ourselves to leave the planet to go out there and explore more. It's like we was on the Starship Enterprise, which they call it the, the new enterprise that we have. That's a spaceship that we built. You know, that's supposed to go through time and space and be in time and all that, you know. And that's the building right now so because I guess they decommissioned all their old spaceships so they have new space technology. So I'm waiting to see that new space technology that they have. I'm waiting to see how far can we go out there. I'm waiting to see what's out there when we go far out there. And please let us see the videos and stuff in real time. Don't change it up, chop it up, and send us a case of a video with a couple of colors. No, really let us see what you see out there. Because the people want to know, the world want to know. And of course, Bra and Jay want to know an out there show, so yeah. we can put it out there for the And people. I'll tell you this much, just speaking to the governments of the world. If you guys really have been developing these crafts and it's not aliens, well then we know you have much more. You probably have exactly. you know, bases on the moon, whatever. Let people know. People won't be mad. You know, that's right. money well spent. No one's going to be mad that you've been spending this money doing this secretly. Just let us know. I know the Pentagon right now can't account for it. They're saying up to $64 trillion. Now, if they let the people now, know. Now, if that was spent built, developing this craft, yeah. then I think we can all understand it. Now, if they let the people know, let, let this is say, theoretically. If NASA said, hey, people, we're building this amazing spaceship right now. It's like the U.S. Enterprise. It can go through time and space, and we're going to go to other planets and explore other places where we can take Earth to a whole nother um, quantum leap into the future, into other planetary sectors and other galaxies that we have not touched before. I mean, that Tic Tac scaled up could do that. So people... I mean, just that Tic Tac scaled up? Yeah, so people... Come on, man. That so people that amazing. Want, and people that want to go out there, they're going to be like, hey, man, I'll donate something to that cause to go out there. I want to be part of uh, building that ship. I want to be... Uh, you know what I'm saying? On that, the first one on that crew, or my yeah. grandson, or the hey, first one. If we're on talking crew. about riding one of those Tic Tacs, I'd go to Mars. If you're talking about jumping on a rocket, like a Elon Musk rocket, yeah. I'm not going to Mars on that rocket. Now, if you're talking about sending me on a Tic Tac, yeah. I'd go. I'd go anywhere on that. Hey. That thing looked amazing. And so I'm telling you, if we can get this technology, and now we know that it's out there, you know, hopefully. Some of his crashed somewhere. Shouts out to Elon, though. I really do. Yeah. I really yeah. do like what he's doing. Hopefully, it's crashed and, uh, out there. The government needs to give him access to that technology so he can send us to exactly. Mars and Tic Tac. Exactly. So, 
or, or, or the aliens, whoever or the aliens, got it. Whoever Give got it to Elon so he can right. send us on a Tic Tac. Exactly. Because we want self spaceships. Just think about it. If, if, if you was the average person out there and you just walked outside of your house and instead of having your car out there, you got a, a self spaceship out there where you can jump into the spaceship. You can go anywhere in time and space. You can go to another galaxy and, and visit a, a girl yeah. in it. I'd, in, be, in a, I'd be commuting a, to Santa Monica from galaxy. Las Vegas. I'd be commuting to Santa Monica to work from Las Vegas. Some people would say go as far as the Milky Way and come back on, a, uh, on another galaxy day. But I just want to see if it is out there. I want to be part of it out there. I want to see it out there. You know, and I, I, I want the people to be able to see it out there. Because this is the year and day and age of information, and that everything should be shared so people can benefit on the knowledge and the wisdom and the technology that's out there. So we all can help together as a community, as a city, as a state, as United States, as the world, to build a higher technology. That's going to help us globally, universally, and our galaxy survive to the next millennium. Because there are a lot of things out there, like meteor showers and things like that, or a hot uh, flame from the sun that can actually destroy our inhabitants where we're living at right now. That's a good point. So we have to find other places to go, other planets, and other ways to strive for human e excellence somewhere else. And as always, you know, anything that's out there, we need to let the truth be known so that people can be inspired. You know, right. people hear about what's what's the farthest thing we know about. Hey, we know about these UAPs, they're doing something. Let people to know know that so that they can be inspired and know, you know, what what is the next horizon? You know, how far are we? What do we really know? You know, so that people can be inspired to, to try to help you know, figure these things out and take things to the next step and join in in the discovery, you know. Don't right. keep all the discovery to yourself, you know. Right. I'm so happy, though, that they did release uh, the acknowledgement that this footage is real. I'm so happy to know that that pilot's out there sharing his experience and letting people know his truth and what he went through and what he saw and what he knows. And uh, to everybody else out there, like even uh, the guy Bob Lazar, or other people who've had these experiences, um, you know, thank you for sharing them. I know that it brings a lot of hassle to your life. Some people say you're lying, some people believe you, some people are too fanatic and say, you know, but I just want to say thank you guys for putting yourselves through it. And thank you, and for, thank you for trying to bring the truth uh, to everybody, you know. Thank you for everybody out there. Thousand parts for the cutoff, but thank you for everybody out there that supports the show, that supports us trying to find something out there and trying to show it to you, the people out there. And wherever you at out there, whatever color creed you at, we feel you out there, we with you out there, and we're on the ride with you out there. And if you want to travel the space out there, we want to travel with you. It's a good point, you know. I just want to say thank you to everybody out there for supporting the show. Our only goal with this show is to just try to find the truth for everybody. Not everybody has a lot of time to do the research. And uh, we're just trying to conglomerate, uh, you know, and bring together different information that's out there. Um, whatever we can find and bring it to you in a concentrated format so that, that you can know what's going on out there, you know. And, that's all we want to do with this show is bring you guys the truth and thank you guys for supporting us on that. And thank you everybody out there for watching the show, being part of our audience. Please subscribe and please check our next show where we talk more and more depth of things that's out there. And hopefully y'all like our videos we show in the background so we can keep y'all out there and directly close to what's going on out there. Well informed. Well informed. If you have anything out there, any video clips out there, anything that you want the out there show to see, please put it in our comment section. And please link it to us. And then maybe we'll show it on our next show. And you'll be part of something out there. Because we love everything out there that's a part of something that we can't see, we don't know. And we actually can't phantom. But now, 
that all these things are opening now, these government officials are finally letting all this new news out and this new information out. I'm just proud for the American people. I'm proud for the world at this time of being because now that everybody can be woke to everything that's out there. They don't have a big to be shout fearful. out from those people who were putting in all those FOIA requests for the last 10 years and got them to release uh, the acknowledgement that these footages are real. Um, thank you. That, you know, got yes. them to declassify this. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, man. You guys, you guys are the soldiers, the foot soldiers out there doing the work. And I'm happy to say that we're part of that as well now. So we're, and we're starting to uh, look into putting in these FOIA requests and demanding that they release some more, release the radars. And to everybody out there, that family has died, giving up information that was true and factual, trying to inform people of something out there. You know what I'm saying? Peace and love and blessings and rest in peace to those family members. Because they were true, honorable people and they deserve an honor guard for their works of what they did, trying to spread the truth that's out there. Because if they got abducted by an alien somewhere and you know what I'm saying? They was abducting his family members and he was trying to talk about it, but he couldn't get his message out there because everybody thought he was crazy until the government released the files that said this guy actually wasn't crazy. There was something actually going on out there. So certain times, let's give people the benefit of the doubt. Let's see what's really out there. Don't just throw it off as a fiction or a fact. Figure it out. Figure out what's out there. So, are you ready, ready to go, go out there to Mars, out there to the stars? When me and Ron going out there, ain't nowhere to fall. So, are you ready to go out there to Mars? Out there to the stars, when out me and there, go out there, ain't nowhere to fall. Welcome everybody out there, this is Out There Show, where you can take you traveling to wherever you want to go. Welcome everybody out there, this is Out There Show, we try to go as far as the wormhole goes. Welcome everybody out there, this is the Out There Show, where Rod J and have you traveling as far as you want to go. Welcome everybody out there, this is the Out There Show, we try to go as far as the wormhole goes. Everybody out there. This is the out there show. Everybody out there. Out there. This is the out there show. So, so, are you ready to go out there? Out there. Out there. Out there. So, are you ready to go out there? Out there. Out there. Out there. Out there to the stars. When me and Jay go out there, ain't nowhere to fall.